guys that this is my travel i think i hope um i'm using my computer to film so the exposure is really really bad and the audio is probably not going to be great but i do have a mic so that's a step forward sorry for any background noise uh the mic is a little bit iffy because it's not the greatest but yes so today we we're talking about mental health because it's such a big thing in a lot of teenagers lives and i know that a lot of people aren't able to access it access help for it and access knowledge of it and so i thought let's start something like that no i'm not expecting anything at all from this um but even if it's just like me in the future and it's just me for you know getting listening to my own advice sometimes it might just be that so we are going to start with misconceptions about mental health so one of the main misconceptions that we have that a lot of people have is that um mental health or poor mental health only happens in teenagers and so that it doesn't it that can happen at any age and i think that's a big thing as well it can happen when like you're really young or when you're really old it doesn't matter poor mental health and mental health issues can affect anyone and so i feel like that's a massive stigma behind it there's a massive stigma around stuff and do you know what that needs to kind of go i don't like that because when I talk about my mental health to people, I know I get a bit of like backlash of like, oh, but you know, you're so young. And it doesn't matter about your age. Age is not something that is like affected with your mental health. So yeah. The second, uh, I've got some on my phone. I haven't been fine with friends recently because I'm depressed. And I think it's because I don't care. I do care, I just have no energy. Depressed people have no energy, and that's not like a symptom of all depressed people, not all depressed people get that. Because mental health presents itself in so many different ways towards so many different people. Like yes, there are many common things that people have and that people get, and that's totally fine. But like, people present mental health issues in different ways, and so I feel like that's totally fair. So when people are depressed, one thing is a lack of energy. It's a massive part of their life. It's a massive part of their whole being because being depressed and being anxious and having poor mental health takes it out of you, takes such so much energy out of you. And like you feel physically and also emotionally tired and it's difficult. But I think the best way to help deal with that is speak to that person if there, there is a person that's going on or you know you don't put enough effort in explain and i think explaining is like a massive part of helping and helping yourself and i know like it's so cliche i'll oh, just talk about it just talk about it and it's like i want to but i don't know what it is myself so the third third misconception is when people will like people that have anxiety are always anxious in crowded spaces no i have anxiety um diagnosed generalized anxiety disorder and it is not always present in situations like that which is fair enough like okay so what my anxiety does and this comes from experience is it's trauma based and therefore what it does is it is triggered mainly by or what we what I think is my past trauma things that link to my past trauma which is like you know um shouting loud noises uh, jump scares and stuff like that like sudden scares don't work for me and um having something like that isn't the greatest <laughs> but being in crowded places and with lots of people it doesn't really affect lots of people with anxiety it can affect a lot of people with anxiety but again mental health issues um they are presented very differently between people and so it's kind of like having your brain kind of has this like selective barrier and has like um uh it can just 
present what it wants to present and it depends on if you've had trauma what experiences you've had this exposure though i look shiny so i've got some packs up here on my phone um it's from the mentalhealth.org.uk stigma and discrimination so just some basic facts one in six people in the past week experienced a common mental health problem this includes depression anxiety ptsd 10 percent of children and young people aged between 5 and 16 years have clinically have a clinically diagnosable mental problem meaning they are able to go to the doctors share the symptoms and could get diagnosed depression is the predominant mental health problem worldwide followed by anxiety schizophrenia and bipolar disorder there is an equality act which i think is really cool um the equality act 2010 makes it illegal to discriminate directly or indirectly against people with mental health problems in public services in public services and functions access to premises work education associations and transport so basically um a workplace could not deny me my job because of a mental health disorder that could not be the reason they deny me from a job or i could not be denied from a place because i have anxiety disorder or i have um PTSD or whatever. So another thing I wanted to talk about was the like social aspect of mental health issues. So social and like life, lifestyle. So like how say people we know like that have mental health issues are less likely to find work, be in a steady long term relationship, you know, be able to just have a normal life and i hate using that word i hate using the word normal because no one's normal um because what is normal um but that's a whole nother video but the way that socially people with less healthy mental health or lower mental health we'll call it will struggle further on in life finding work and finding stuff like that because there is such a stigma placed on them and on us i should say because i suffer as well because we are kind of stigmatised we're gonna go to my links they'll be in the description box that my instagram might open instagram i have to but i uh, might open instagram yeah thank you very much thanks for watching um i will see you possibly next week but i'm not sure what my schedule is gonna be we'll just have to see bye